Okay, so it's the beginning of March, it's the beginning of galaxy season and tonight I'm going to be in the garden photographing one of my favourites, the Whirlpool Galaxy. Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Tonight I'm going to be in the garden photographing the Whirlpool Galaxy and I'm just in the middle of setting up and that's one of my top tips that I give to a few people or I've given to a few people just getting into astrophotography is try and set up during the day if you can. So I'm actually heading out to a local nature reserve in an hour or so. Um, I'm going to head out just before sunset and I'll probably get back in the dark. Um, I'm going out for my local my daily walk um, and I'm hoping to photograph a local bar now. So those of you who aren't, uh, don't know or don't follow me on Instagram, I do a little bit of wildlife photography as well. So if you're interested in wildlife photog photography, go and check out my Instagram account. But because I'm going to be getting back in the dark, I've decided to set my scope up before I leave. Now it's so much easier to get everything set up in the daytime. So from levelling off your tripod, making sure that the, your base is nice and level, um, to getting your counterweights in the right place, making sure your scope is nice and balanced. It's just so much easier to do that when you've got um, when you've got light. <laughs> so that's what I always try and do. And if if you get that wrong, you don't you know you don't set up correctly or you rush your setup, then it can ruin the whole night of uh, photography. So that's my top tip. Make sure you try and do that if you can. So I've pretty much set up. I've got the scope on the mount, um, all the wires attached. All I really need to do now is make sure everything's nice and balanced. Um, and then yeah, wish me luck with the bar now. I'll let you see some images if I get any. Okay, so it's turned into a pretty good day today. Had an amazing time watching the barn owl hunt and managed to get a few um, shots which look pretty good on the back of my camera. If they were any good, I would have put them up on the, on the video now. Um, but yeah, that was that was awesome. Um, and now I'm back home. The weather forecast was all correct and it is a completely clear night in Sirencester. So I have my telescope at the bottom of the garden or at the top of the garden. I'm down at the bottom recording this um, and I'm already collecting images on the Whirlpool Galaxy. So I'm determined to get a HA RGB image. Um, I've tried it a couple of times. I tried it with the Orion Nebula and I could just could not get it to look right. Um, but I've seen a few videos of people who have done this on the Whirlpool so touch wood I will be able to produce a HA RGB image. I'm collecting the HA first um, and then I'm going to go on to the RGB later this evening so fingers crossed I should get a, a good image to show you at the end. Now one thing when I was out setting up that I realised is that I'm, I'm actually probably quite guilty of just setting up and then running indoors and putting my feet up and watching the images come in and I don't actually spend too much time underneath the sky underneath the stars looking up and I was just just looking up after I'd finished set up tonight and it's just amazing what you can see so so clear um, so many stars so I just thought I'd show you quickly what I can see from my garden here so I'm just going to quickly change over lenses and then I'll show you a quick tour of what I can see from my back garden. Okay so I just thought I'd give you a quick view of what I can see as I mentioned before not a, not a cloud in the sky um, so there you can see Ursa Major, just about make it out. And if you move over here, you can see the lion, Leo. So one of my um, targets over the next next few weeks, if I get any clear skies again, is uh, is to try the the Leo triplet. 
so I'll be pointing up that way and you move over to the other side of the garden again just so many stars out I hope you can pick these up on the on the camera but there you have Gemini and if you come down a little bit lower just about visible still if I move over here you can see Orion there really bright and visible in the night sky so again one of my favorite targets one of my favorite areas in the night sky but as you can see it's just about to set behind my neighbor's tree so I don't get a huge amount of time on on this target unfortunately and then you move over here and you have the amazing Pleiades and again that's right next to uh, to Mars at the moment so Mars is visible in the night sky and that's one of my goals for this year is to try and uh, do a bit of planetary photography I think you really need to to um, to take videos so that'll be something new for me I've never done that before and if you move up here you have Perseus so some great targets near there so I think you've got the the California Nebula and a, a few other targets in, in that constellation as well so yeah so just a, a quick tour of some of the some of the stars in the night sky and then obviously over over here pointing north there's Polaris so that's how I polar align but it's just uh, amazing when you actually just take take some time and look up and actually see some of the some of the stars in the sky and then over here somewhere fairly close to her Samaja is my target tonight the Whirlpool Galaxy so I'll put that up on screen now hope you've enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching if you've got this far and I'll see you in the next one